Hello team and welcome back to the channel. So today's video is going to be about day 10 of Python for DevOps where I am going to guide you with how we can get started with uh, working with APIs. Okay, And in this video I will be showing you how we can make HTTP request and how we can interact with APIs of different websites. Okay. So team before getting started with that video I would request you please subscribe to the channel it helps a lot for channel to grow as well as it keeps me motivated to keep making hands on videos for you. Okay team so with that being said let's get started also team I have my telegram channel which is completely open that means anyone can send messages to it if you are having any doubt queries or anything you can just put your queries here me or my team members or any other uh, member of the group will be happy to help you with your queries. Yeah, so yeah, now let's get started. So first let us understand what exactly is the API and why do we have it. So API is short for application programming interface and it's basically a set of rules and protocols which allows us to interact with uh, different websites. Okay, what exactly happens there is there are three terms that you should know. First is uh, endpoint, second is HTTP method and third is headers. Okay, which I will explain in a minute. First thing. So what exactly API help us to do? Basically, it will help us to exchange data. When I say that exchange data, that means we can perform different kind of HTTP method actions. And these are the actions. For example, get request. So get request is a kind of uh, exchange data format where we can send a request which will uh, to get some information. Okay. So for that, so getting for any information from a website, we can use get request then we have post request so let's say i want to put some i want to like uh, send some information or send some data to the website so for that we need to use post request okay for example let's say like you uh, they have a list of users okay they have a list of users and i want to get the list of specific user so i can send a get request he kindly share me this uh, details of this user right post so second uh, second method is post so in post basically what happens for example i want to add a, another user to that list so i can send the details to the site and it will be added okay then we have put request put is basically updating the existing resource for example let's say there is a user details and i want to update something in, in it okay so for that i need to send a put request okay next we have delete so delete you can understand from the name itself that it is going to delete something Okay, now let us talk about this section endpoint, HTTP method, and headers. So, as I was telling you, like there will be a specific kind of URL over which we can send HTTP methods like get, post, put, delete, right? So, that specific URL is known as endpoint URL. Okay, let me show you an example, then it will be more clear. For example, this is the website, okay, JSON placeholder simply, and this is a URL, and you can see like it's proper normal website having details and all those things. But if I in the URL, if I put as post, click enter. Now see, you are getting some details about user ID, title, body, and so and so. Okay. And this is a kind of API URL. Okay. Because here we can access different data from the website, basically user data. Right. So this is this URL specific URL is known as endpoint URL. Correct. Next, we have HTTP methods. So HTTP method is a kind of actions or uh, like request that we are going to put using uh, API and this HTTP method these you will see get post put delete these are the HTTP methods that we send right then we have headers so headers basically this is a URL right if I put slash and write something this one one okay so this part that we have extra which can which may be anything like uh, some detail like here we are using this as ID this is the value of id i can put uh, anything else also for example i can put 2 and it will give give me details of id2 okay so this part that we add after the url is known as headers it can be anything like id details or it can be some authentication token or something else okay get my getting my point right okay so when we are sending request like i will send get request to get information post request to post some data a put request so to update something okay and delete request to delete something so how do we know that our task is getting completed okay so basically uh, when i send some request so in in response to that we will receive a code okay which is also known as response code or status code you can say 
so let's say i send a get request and if i receive 200 code that means successful the get request is successful if i am sending like post request and if uh, in response i am getting 201 that means task is completed similar to that we have 400 which is for bad request like client error like uh, site is not working or something then we have 401 which is unauthorized so if site requires uh, for api calls if site requires authentication to be done and we do not we are not providing authentication then we will receive unauthorized error then 404 if the site itself or url is wrong endpoint url is wrong then we will receive 404 and then we have 500 internal server error that means if our site is not existing or like uh, uh, down or crashed or not working then in that case we will receive 500 internal server url uh, sorry internal server error okay so this is the basic understanding of api now let us understand this through proper hands-on demo then it will become more and more clear okay, okay team so first example that i wanted to show you is the get request how do we use get request so before you running any of the http request we need to make sure that we have a, a library installed which library i'm talking about so we need to install pip request library okay so whatever like uh, uh, those requests that i am going to run they they can be used only because they are existing inside request library so we can install that library using this command it's done right next writing the source code it's very simple first we are importing the library request then we are making a get request to url and it's very clear we create a variable then we are calling the get request request dot get and inside this we are passing the uh, api url so if i go back here this is the general url but in our case api url will be this okay and we want to get specific information so i want to get information of the user with id3 which is going to be this one this part and i want to get the these details separately so i will just click enter and you can see on url we can we are able to get okay same thing we need to get inside our uh, python program so here also since i have already used get request with the url provided and here we are going to write id details as three okay then what i am doing is running if else command to check if our request is successful or not so if i receive the status code for in the in like in, in response from this website as 200 that means response was correct and we will print the response that received okay else we will print that there is an error so let me save this file and we will run this command as soon as i run it you can see these details we received and if you match this for example yeah body et something something so if i go here body same so it's 100 percent same whatever like we details we have here right and in this way you can basically get details using api request so get is the api request for getting details okay now let me show you other other api requests for like for example the post request how do we work with that okay team so next up i wanted to show you the post request how do we work with that so obviously first thing uh, import the request library next two variables we have created one is url one is data in url we are going to pass the endpoint url which is this right and in data i want to actually push new data okay whose details will be title body and user id is same for all right so uh, here what will happen a new id will be getting created okay because here if i run this post command so if i go at the end uh, last last data is having id 100 right so what we are trying to do is create a new data with id 101 which is at the end right so that's what we are doing we have created two variable url and data then another variable we are creating with name response and here we are calling the post function from request dot post request is the library name okay and inside that we are passing url and data in the form of json okay next just to make sure that our uh, command is uh, worked fine we are uh, like checking for the status code if it is 201 that status code will be coming uh, after we have uh, put a post request okay so state if the status code is 201 then we are printing the id value which is going to be 101 okay 101 or uh, yeah 101 i guess okay else it will it will give error so let me save this file and let us run this 
and here you can see clearly success new post created with id 101 that means we are uh, the, the the information that we are trying to post is successful we are able to push this data and it got it pushed and with the new id which is 101 right okay same so this is how a post request will work see there could be so many different ways that you could uh, perform a post request but this is the simplest way just to make you understand what exactly we are doing right okay now let me show you the other request which is put and delete okay team so finally let me show you the last two methods which is uh, put and delete okay so that is also it's the command is going to be almost similar here first of all we are going to import the request library then two variables we have created url which is going to be the url of the endpoint url here we are providing slash one which is going to be the id okay so first item we are we want to update in first item we want to update title and body that means if i go here slash this so this this information that you are seeing which is the uh, information of id1 here what we are uh, changing is uh, title and body okay also team see this is basically a fake api request website so whatever changes that we do it is just for testing purpose and it, it is go not going to reflect here okay okay so yeah this is what we are going to change and to make sure that we get the uh, information that it it's done or not for that again we are going to here if you notice we are using put request put function from request library okay where we are passing url and the json data okay then again to confirm that it worked fine we are using if else uh, if else uh, command where we are checking if we receive the status code as 200 that means uh, the task is done and we are going to print the json okay and else we are going to print the status code which is going to be like something if the if the task did not complete then we will receive some status code okay that we are going to print next uh, next method that we are going to do is the request uh, delete okay so he, that also we are calling using request uh, our library request dot delete and we are just passing url and since in url specific id already I provided that is one so it's going to delete that only okay and again to make sure that we are able to understand if it worked fine or not we are using if else and with 200 code 200 just remember that 200 code is first ok status okay let me clear the screen let me save this file and let us run this now as soon as we updated uh, we have already tried to print it this one so it got updated the title was initially title was something else and body was something else but it is updated now of the id1 second using the delete uh, delete function we have deleted this whole thing also okay so yeah team this is how you will like uh, interact with apis this is the basic version of it okay there could be much bigger versions where you will like use different functions and different methods but yeah this is the basic one so now you know how we what exactly is api calls and how we are working with api for the four functions you should know get put post and delete okay so yeah team uh, that will be all for today and thanks for watching so have a nice day